What is happening, my film friends? David the Film Junkie here bringing you a video on this Monday evening. Yes, Monday is done. We can relax, kind of. Nah, it sucks. It sucks that it's only still Monday. God, I swear, they need to extend that weekend, I tell you what. Anyways, guys, this video has to do, of course, about Batman vs. Superman. It has to do with a certain actor playing in that movie that we are all very, very much anticipating, and that's Mr. Ben Affleck, okay? And uh, he talks about, well, taking on the role of Batman, and he talks about the rage of bats, because we know that Batman has some rage. You know, he, he's got a little bit of is issues, even though he's got a good head on his shoulders, he's really smart. But let's face facts, when your parents get killed right in front of you when you're about 10 years old, 10, 11 years old, you know, you're, you're going to be pretty fucked up, a little bit, a little bit. So he talked about that. You know, with the Sunday Times, and he said, and I quote, For me, anger is so deeply buried and contained that when it does kind of come out, it comes out in stronger bursts. I tend to be respectful, polite, get along, put up with, put up with, put up with. Then, when, I fi when it finally emerges, it's not something I have a ton of control over. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get into Wolvie Berserker rage. I'm telling you, that's, that's, that reminds me of Mallrats. Affleck, get back with Kevin Smith. Give him an exclusive interview. Anyways, um, but I have, but I have a, I do. That that is an interesting thing that you that you point out. That's my personality. By the way, the character. That's a. Well, oh, sorry, I get a little ahead of myself. By the way, that's a character flaw. I think I should sit down and say, listen, I just want to let you know what happened. There, there wasn't okay. Wow, that doesn't even make sense. Anyways, <laughs> I'm reading this, and I don't know if I'm reading it right because I'm kind of tired or what or not. Instead of going, let it go, let it go, let it go. Ah, that's not a big deal until finally you just pop. Yeah. So he's going to summon some of his anger, I guess. You know, I showed you the image of him flipping off paparazzi naturally with his uh, his beautiful wife, Mr. Miss Mister? No. Mr. Matt Damon? No. <laughs> Miss uh, Jennifer Gardner. Um... And uh, yeah, you know that's that's kind of cool. This makes me just more excited to see him play Batman. If he's he's really taking this fucking role seriously, guys. I mean, we know this. I mean, there's still gonna be the the, the Batfleck haters out there. They're just gonna hate it up and down. Hey, Daredevil. <laughs> yeah, you, you, we're gonna still get those sticklers. You, there's nothing we could do about that. But for those of you that are just totally 100% on board for Mr. Affleck to play this role, to play the character that we love, the iconic role that is Batman, the fact that he's going to be summoning some of his own personal rage into his role, into his performance, that's just is totally awesome. I mean, and then he got, you know, it's an older Batman, so obviously he's going to be, his patients are not going to be as strong as maybe, you know, 20 years ago, 15, 20 years ago, when he first started this whole adventure of being Batman. So, you know, he's going to be a little testy maybe so ah oh, man i really cannot wait for this movie and uh you know i, I don't want to think about that far release date it is pretty damn far away but uh you know what guys whatever we just got to be patient right or you know let's just freeze ourselves and sleep for a year anyways let me know what you think about this what do you think about uh affleck summoning some of his own rage to bring to the batman rage man i mean it's awesome i'm gonna if only he would have that famous batman animated series line you know i am vengeance i am the knight i am batman i just ugh, i want him to either that or that famous dark knight returns line when he's he's got pretty much superman by the throat and he, you know belts out that fucking awesome line that'd be amazing but uh, hopefully, I mean, everybody's still wondering what's that voice going to be like. But I think I think he's going to nail it, guys. I think he's going to nail it. But let me know what you think down below. Hit that like, thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys later.